Slick talker since a jet. When they talk, all the time. Ooh. Yeah. Look at the way that I move. Swag. Disrespectful and I'm rude. Okay. I had cocaine in the school. Uh, when I was one hell of a kid. I am. Smoking gas, drugging me. I'm lit. What you doing? I done did. I swear. Slick talker since a jet. Finesse. I know that this what they want. Facts. Run up some money, I'm gone. I'm Hey yo, we're on Corco No Basket episode 63. Alright, I ain't gonna lie this nigga Corco. He started off the story sounding eerie as hell. So, what exactly is about to pop off? Oh, my boy and I'm mean Two peas in a pot. <laughs> you already know the basketball club, duh. Hack lunches. Bro, why don't they just date, bro? I swear. <laughs> ah, there's Corco. But he didn't even notice him, probably. Yeah. <sighs> you know, it's a tough thing to be ignored. Feel for Corco sometimes. <laughs> this is a phone book? Ah, uh, lucky item. Yeah, he don't really give a damn about the book. He just has it for the luck. Uh, I guess this is a first- This nigga rich as hell! Nigga fucking pulling up to school for limo? The hell? I'll let your father know. Who the fuck is his dad? No! Who is his dad? What is- it, it, Bro, I, I swear this nigga's, this nigga's dad's probably in the NBA, bro. Who- Who is his dad? Who is it? You feel what I'm saying? Does his dad have an emperor's eye too? Did he inherit the shit? What's good? Look at this music. <laughs> a nice spring day. Work hard to get into the game so we can. Oh, that's the the dude from the end of last oh, episode. Bro, oh, maybe I'm being right. Maybe, maybe this was destiny. You know, so maybe this was fate. All these strong ass niggas joining this one school, test you and divide you into classes. Damn. So who's on the squad right now? Obviously, I know Corco took a little bit longer to develop. He wasn't really at his peak at uh, at the beginning. <laughs> this nigga is a monster. Talented at everything, bro. <laughs> Literally. The third string. I don't see Akashi or anybody in the crowd. The first string. Who's in the first string? Y'all niggas are lied to. Damn. Bro, I need to see these tryouts. What'd they do for tryouts? Akashi. All the people from Generation of Miracles. Try as Haizaki wasn't called. Where's Haizaki? Whoo! Bro, that's a deadly ass freaking squad right there. All prodigies. I mean, he just uses his motivation. I know he had that promise. But eventually, you know, he gets there. And I guess he plays him. And whoever knows what happens, happens. Stay late for practice. Leave on time. Doesn't make any sense. Leave on time, but stay late? <laughs> Those two don't add up. <laughs> so I guess this is what motivated him. The promise he made with that kid. To work hard. And eventually he met Amine this way, right? My nigga, this nigga Amine. Oh. Who the fuck? Kashi. Nigga, that's Riz right there. Nigga, this is Riz. This is Riz! I appreciate your daily support. Y'all niggas need to take tips. That chivalry at its finest. Kashi Sama's cool too. See, now y'all switching up. Vice Captain, who the fuck Captain now? Okay. Too orthodox. <laughs> Look at the way they're walking. <laughs> That's my boy Korko. Hmm, I didn't even think about that that way. Variety, switch it up. Korko is the perfect player for that. Who are you? You don't know this nigga. You clearly know him. He was picked for first string. Exactly. Oh yeah, we've seen this before. Only good guys like basketball. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. You're not good enough for our team. Who the fuck is this guy? It's hard. Is it, he's not even the coach. Is this guy the coach? But your rank has fallen. <laughs> they keep in ranks and shit. <laughs> Nigga, that's some shit out of a movie. The coach telling you you can't make it, and then you make it. Well, this is an anime. This is a fictional tale. But this shit do be happening in real life. The fuck? Why do we got sirens and shit? What, what, what is going on? Thank you. My best bro, yeah. This is when he was thinking about quitting. See, I was so surprised when Amine said this. I was like, this, he really said this? Man, I'm playing He said, no player is not important. Bro, that was shocking to hear him say that. Mm. This is where Kashi. Kashi found his sixth man right here. Off rip. Obviously, he figured out the ability that he had, but how? I feel nothing when I look at you. It's kind of... It's kind of sad, <laughs> but I guess that's his talent, though. They can't help it. Facts. You, 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 you just know when a nigga is just tough at hooping or any sport. Mm, his shadow is his strength. Find me when you had an answer. This nigga Akashi gave him the keys for real, for real. Koko just had to open the door. He is indeed. Dangled a thread in front of him. Why do you look so ominous when he's saying that? It's up to him, and he climbed it. All I'm gonna do is pass or assist other players. Pass curves that are crazy. I mean, shoot, that's what he be doing. Staying here. 
You staying at the library for what? Misdirection techniques. So obviously Korka developed his own craft. He just didn't naturally just have this. He actually had he had to have the idea and then he had to perfect it. Three months is crazy. <laughs> Yo. Let's test you immediately. So you told me he has a short of surprise for three months? Ijimura. I guess this guy must be a senpai. Or I guess he might be the captain, since obviously a crush vice captain at this time. Damn! Misdirection. <laughs> Yo. Misdirection. How the fuck? Okay, how the fuck does this nigga know what it is, though? Obviously, Kuroko read the books on misdirection, but how does he know it's exactly misdirection? He's like doing the ultimate no look pass. That's what misdirection seems like the ultimate no look pass. He exceeded my expectations, really. First thing, yeah, fuck you, bro. Look at, look at, you got your chance, bro. Bro, are you not good? Nigga, I will be talking the most shit to this nigga right here, bro, Kuroko. Come on now. Haha, <laughs> I mean, eh. Damn! Welcome to the first string. Okay. Oh, Haizaki's there, I think. I think that's Haizaki. <laughs> oh, he feels the pressure. Akashi getting a phone call? Who's gonna be Pops? Oh, Haizaki. But I've got a call. That's like some shit Amine would say. <laughs> would Korko be starting? Tetsuro exit. Bro, y'all. Bro, there's like freaking. There's literally four for first. Except Mita Rima. Is Mita Rima playing? That's crazy. For middle school? Oh, he is playing. There's four. <laughs> Fuck. Check to my own feet. Ah, the bloody nose story. He he, he uh, brought it up when uh, Kujihara, Kujihara, whatever that dude's name is. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Yo, Akashi seems so different. <laughs> Nijimura. Oh, he got that elbow pad and shit. The strongest middle school power forward. Okay. Let's win. Oh, oh he's all about that victory, it seems like. Let's see how saucy is. Okay. Nigga, where is this nigga today? Oh, just to meet a Remo. Splash. <laughs> okay, Korko's cool, back in. Does not sync well with Murasakabari. Obviously, they gotta build the chemistry up. Already, huh? Damn, a blowout. Regardless of what, it, regardless of them, obviously, you know, working well together. Bro, Butterfingers, I swear. What? What you notice? Is your Emperor's eye working on him or some shit? What, what, what's going on? What's with this music? Exactly, it's just one game. Bro, relax. Now, my mane was fighting for him. Mm. He sees how hard he's worked. Damn, my mane. That's my guy right there. Bet say less. Don't disappoint him, Gorko. Mm. Okay, it's a pretty close game. Surprisingly. Is that the analysis he made? Most powerful. Control. Bro, the fact that Akashi gave him all these tips means that he's literally the person that can stop Koroko at his best. Which is going to be a problem for the next game. Damn! Oh my god, he's dropping people! He's using Epper's eye there? Or... Oh, that was quick. Right on the money, bro. A curve pass, just like Amine was talking about. Whew, that was quick, can't even see him. Yo, nigga's dunking as... He's dunking as a freshman. And, uh, not, not, not freshman, but... A middle school, a first year middle schooler. Understand that, guys. Lay, Amine. Damn. Bro, just gotta be quicker with it. Whew. Nah, his passes are sauce to look at. They're, they're fire to look at. Say less. Six man. This is where he got his title, his title, but where did things start going downhill and what's the situation with this middle school boy? I knew you could do it. Bro, this dude better be tough. <laughs> I swear, he better be tough. Well, damn. Damn, damn, damn. This matchup is going to be interesting. Obviously, the dude doesn't forgive Kuroko, but how could he not forgive Kuroko? Did Kuroko injure him somehow when they play? What, what what could he not forgive him about? It just doesn't make sense. Real talk. It doesn't make sense. He said he likely doesn't for, he like he still doesn't forgive me. Present day, that's what he said. So what could he have possibly done? I can't think. It's just basketball. Come on, guys. It's just basketball. I don't think he could, you know, maybe... You know, gave him like a, a, a lifelong injury. That's literally the only thing in a basketball sense that I could see maybe he wouldn't forgive him. That's it. Real talk. So it's actually pretty interesting what exactly is going to take place when they actually play, right? Um, that makes him not forgive Kuroko, or at least that's what Kuroko thinks in his head. You know, Kuroko could probably just be dickish sometimes, right? Um, but, you know, it's for sure going to be interesting. Uh, though I'm loving this flashback so far, seeing Akashi, Amine, all the miracle boys. It's, it's, it's so cool to see them, you know, saying young and obviously as a first year, 
you know what I'm saying, seeing their potential, seeing them sauce up on the court, Akashi with his intellect, you know what I'm saying, Amine, you know what I'm saying, just being out, doing Amine things, and Mita Rima, you know what I'm saying, just spawning up, shooting for a three, and obviously Mura Sakabari dunking as a freaking first year in middle school is completely wild, but it's cool to see it all, man. Uh, but I'm excited for the next couple episodes, man. It seems like uh, this flashback is still continuing, right? I wonder how much longer it's going to last. Um, obviously, we got the game coming up. Uh, I guess Rocky's on. But obviously, there's still lots left untold about this story, right? Obviously, the main point of this is to talk about Akashi and why he is who he, why who he, is, who he is or why he's like two separate people right now, right? Because he, he does seem a little like... He seems more kind than what he seems like present day, back in the day, right now, that we're what we're seeing from him. So it's interesting. But obviously, that's the whole point of this flashback is to get an insight on Akashi. Um, right? Not about Kuroko and his boy. I'm sure it plays a part into it. I'm sure Akashi has... Maybe Akashi does some, has something to do with it. Obviously, Kuroko and him. Obviously, him not forgiving Kuroko. Maybe that does have something to do with Akashi. Who knows, right? But... Obviously, we'll have to see by continuing this series. So, if you guys did enjoy this video, man, do not forget to drop a like, man. And if you're brand new to the YouTube channel, man, do not forget to subscribe. And yeah, stay tuned for some more. Cork on the basketball channel, man. Peace.